NVIDIA Video Super Resolution, which will be shortened to VSR for the rest of this video, currently lets users of GeForce RTX 3000 and 4000 cards to enhance videos viewed on Chrome-based browsers. There are four quality settings to choose from, but I'm testing the best one in this video because I want to give it the best chance possible to impress. What it is is sort of upscaling, but more about generally enhancing how the image looks. I can sum it up as this, it sharpens edges and removes blobbiness. And that's pretty much what I expected from it before it was released. I think it's best used for making bad quality videos look less bad. This video for instance. Being one of my oldest and worst looking videos, it's my go to when testing new upscaling solutions, which I do more often than I'd like to admit. And I see many similarities between how VSR goes about this and how the Topaz programs have in the past. Straight off, this text looks much cleaner when VSR is enabled. This has been upscaled so nicely that it may as well be a higher resolution, so I fully expect VSR to work miracles on simple looking content with clear, sharp lines. Stuff like anime. To be honest, this sort of content doesn't excite me much, as upscaling has already proven to be very capable of enhancing this style of image, but obviously VSR has real world value in that it does it in real time, which is cool. I'm a bit scared of showing footage from animated sources, but in this 360p comparison shot from Moomint, you can see that with VSR on, it makes it appear like a much higher resolution image. This is great news for people on limited internet connections, because it means you could get 720p quality results while only using 360p's worth of bandwidth. I know there are ways of getting VSR working on video players too, so those of you who like compressing your collection of cartoons down to super small file sizes can rejoice, knowing that if you play them back with VSR enabled, then it will do an excellent job of reclaiming any degraded image clarity. I also got this high quality 1080p shot, just to see what VSR could do to an already good looking anime style image. And of course VSR sharpens it further. Its benefits can only really be seen once I zoom in, where you can see it's done an excellent job of tidying up the lines, and while no new details have been added, it's done a great job of making existing details appear clearer, especially on these cables overhead. In some places it looks like VSR has conjured these out of nowhere, but they were there in the original as well, just very blurred. Whether every detail on the image should be unblurred is another question though, but I don't think VSR is quite so important when the source material already looks decent. It could help to keep the quality looking good on a large 4 or 8K TV, perhaps, but I think VSR's main strengths are more noticeable when it's trying to restore a bad quality video. Speaking of which, let's return back to the Morrowind example. It's very hard to know how to show the effect of VSR. Showing the video side by side like this would be the obvious way, but there's going to be some degree of image degradation on YouTube. But if you're viewing this video in 4K, then the quality should be good enough for you to be able to pause it and to compare the images side by side. I will be using still images to highlight differences simply for those of you who can't play this video in the best quality possible, or for those of you who'd rather just hear me talk about it. But this gameplay style of video is more the sort that I'm interested in seeing it enhance, because there's a lot wrong with it, and probably no right way of improving it. Because this video is such a pixelated mess, and probably more like the sorts of low quality streams that will rely on VSR to make look presentable again. And VSR does some things to this kind of video that are worth noting. The HUD elements, like these bars down here, look sharper with it on. It's clearing up all the JPEG looking outlines around stuff, and it does a modest but welcome job of enhancing how this part of the picture looks. The mountain changes colour a bit, and this is one of the more interesting quirks that I've found with VSR. I don't know if this colour change is always intentional, but in this instance it hides the subtle green and blue hues, which I think only existed in the first place because of the very low video quality. But this quirk is definitely something to keep an eye on, because I'm not sure it's always beneficial though I think it is in this particular instance. You probably also noticed faint brownie artefacts around the edges of the screen when only the text was being shown. This is likely another unwelcome byproduct of the algorithms that Nvidia is using. Now this sort of thing is rather discreet in practice, but you really don't want stuff like this ruining a dark shot, do you? So it's hopefully something they can iron out in later iterations. As for the gameplay itself, wow, it looks markedly better with VSR on. The mountain's texture looks higher res and more consistent, the outline of the mountain looks higher res, and the snow remains mostly intact, while the blocky, pixelated nature of the background clouds is smoothed out. And that's a big achievement. Falling snow has been a nightmare for other upscalers to attempt in the past. I've seen some add more snowflakes to the scene than there actually are, while others remove them almost entirely. And while Nvidia's VSR may remove some of the less obvious snowflakes, in my opinion it does a great job of differentiating between what's a snowflake that it needs to show and what's just an artifact that it needs to hide. There may be instances you'll find where it will conceal more subtle particle effects, but for the most part it's one of the better upscalers out there for this sort of thing. 
and looking at the sky it does an amazing job at smoothing out the colour gradients. It goes from looking like a blocky low bitrate mess to looking like how a sky should look. You can also see this in the transitions between clips and even more so in the mine sequence where it's much darker and where the blockiness becomes more of a problem. If I show you some before and afters I think most of you will agree that the after looks significantly better. It adds a dappled look to the image which isn't extra detail but it does give the impression of it, sort of like adding grain to a movie file. This tricks our eyes into thinking it's displaying more detail than what's really there, I guess because it no longer looks like a low bitrate file. But the million dollar question is whether or not VSR brings relevant details forward and back from other moments of the same clip, which would be like the holy grail of upscaling technology, but I don't think it does. It's just very good at making out shapes from a low quality image. In the original preview of this tech they showed it constructing clear stairs from a blurry source. Well I've got my own example of it here, and rather than drawing stairs where there weren't any before it actually goes the other way by blurring some bits which used to contain stairs of some sort. Maybe that's because it's identified this as a very low quality video where it's best to err on the side of caution, but it's good to establish that it isn't performing miracles here. Just a very good job. And lastly, a low resolution flyby through this town. Here it's content simply sharpening stuff up a bit and to reduce the blockiness. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's not being too ambitious with its upscaling here. You can still see the pixelation around the edges of things, because I was playing this game without any anti-aliasing at the time. I might have got better results from this upscaling had the footage been anti-aliased in the first place. Because the text you see here is anti-aliased, and because of that has been made super crisp and sharp by the VSR. But the question to ask is, do I think it looks better than it did before? To which the answer is most definitely yes. I am impressed by how much of a difference the technology dares to make without going far enough to introduce artefacts that are obvious enough to give away that it's been upscaled. And that is the difficult balance to strike. I have decided to split my analysis in half and to end the video here, because it's become a bit of a self-deprecating joke of mine at this point where I look at my previous upscaling videos, decide that they're too long and complicated, and promise myself that the next one I make will be shorter and simpler, only for it then to eventually become the longest and most complicated upscaling video yet. I'm an addict, what do you expect? So that's it for now, but just know that I was right on the money with the video I made predicting what VSR would be like. It isn't attempting anything new, it isn't magic, it's just doing the best balance of it yet, and in real time. That's the killer feature right there, because it helps the technology to transcend beyond enthusiast usage and into the everyday world of people just wanting their videos to look nicer, provided they have a cutting edge graphics card. I want to touch on other things like how it deals with better looking videos, real life footage, the image quality and power consumption at different presets and so on. But as you can imagine, doing all this would result in my longest and most complicated upscaling video yet, and I don't want to do that. Again. So for now, just know that it's an excellently calibrated upscaler that may not always add as much detail as it could, but it adds as much as it can without adding distracting artefacts. That's impressive, because it's always tempting with upscaling to push it too far, which is fun for the person upscaling the video, but not so much for the people who then have to watch the end result. Check out my preview video about this here, where, as usual, I predicted everything about this perfectly, or this one here, where I interview an AI before ChatGPT came out and it became cool to do so, which is probably why this video doesn't have many views either, or this one from several years ago, where I predict a future where you can upscale waifus in real time. That dream is now a reality.